already in and here today I come to you guys with an unboxing and I'm not really I don't remember what the theme was but we're gonna fit in it, find it out um, for you guys who don't know I'll create is a wire subscription box that you can get each month and each month they shows a newly released book and around that book they make a theme and therefore also include three to five bookish goodies so let's get to it because I'm really curious about to expect for this box this is what it looks like like and the first thing we have in here is the card for the month and the theme is hidden worlds so I'm not going to read on the back because spoilers but it's a really pretty card as always and then we also have the pin that you get each month and that one correlates to the card and then the first thing I see in here is a candle and it's called through the wardrobe and it's an all create exclusive and it's made by books on candles so it's a soy candle out the center supposed to be but mmm this actually smells very like fresh and like clean it's some sort of flower but I don't really know what it is but it's white on the inside and then it looks like this and then the next thing Ooh, what is this? So many big things. Like, I feel, ooh, it's a pouch. I love pouches. I use pouches all the time. I need to get this open. Ooh, it's like really good material. So, this is not like fabric kind of thing. Okay, so it's like plastic key and it's plastic on the outside too. So it feel like so if something would leak or anything like that it wouldn't come like into your bag. Um, but on it it says we dream together of the world remade. So it's purple and text, and it looks really pretty. And I'll definitely, definitely be using this one. I'm gonna to try to figure out. Um, oh, it's Risa Rodilla did this. Um, who made this? I've been wanting to buy something from her for a really long time. So this is beautiful. Um, and this is. Inspired by Daughter of the Sm of Smoke and Bone. So, and it's also exclusive and I love this so much. Um, but then we have something... Oh, it's an Alcrate pouch. That's so cute. Looney, stop biting the plastic. You cannot bite plastic. That's not good for you. No. No. No, 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 no. Ready? <laughs> Too much? Okay, so we have the pouch. We're gonna see... No, don't eat that. We're gonna see what it is. Oh, it's some kind of pendant. Ooh, it's a key, I think. It looks like a pendant key. Um, whoops. Okay, so it's a necklace with a pendant and it's shaped like a key. Um, sort of look like a button. <laughs> Up here. I don't know if you can see that very well. called a skeleton key pen and necklace. It's created by Team Alcrate and it's inspired by um, Coraline. And it's supposed to unlock doorways to other worlds. Oh, Looney. So here we have something huge. I have no idea what this is. This is a bag or something. It's huge. What is this? Is this a cover for... Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Is it the right... No, it's the wrong way. Where is this supposed to be? I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So this is a wool tapestry, meaning you're supposed to put it on the wool, and it's made by Evie Bookish. And it says... And on it, it says, books fall open, you fall in. And it's huge. And they have never included this kind of item before. So it's really cool. Although I have no wall space to put it on. So I don't know what to use it for. But maybe I can have it when I move out sometime in the future. But it's really beautiful. And I love your visual bookish things. And that is a Alice in Wonderland sticker. I just started to use my stickers, actually. I used 
used to put them away but now put them on my computer but this is adorable look at that and you guys know i love alice in wonderland and that's so cute it's amazing it's so cute i wonder who made this obviously featuring alice and the white rabbit from alice in wonderland like i said and it is designed by naomi lord i'm not going to put this on my computer and then i think we'll come to the book <laughs> And as always, Alcrit has exclusive covers for their books. I'm going to try to show you guys what the original cover looks like. Um, but the book is The Hazelwood by Miss Albert, and I knew it would be this book. Um, but look at it, it's green. The original cover is um, gold with black, but this one is green with gold and also some silver. Um, but it looks beautiful, so let's open it up. If you guys remember, this is actually one of my most anticipated releases for this year. So I'm really, really looking forward to reading this one. But I just want to look under the cover. And the dust jacket. Okay, it's just grey. That's kind of boring though. But it's something embossed here. It looks like a building or something. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but the end papers are really, really gorgeous. Lots of flowers and stuff. Okay, so in this one, we meet 17-year-old Alice. And her mother spent most of Alice's life on the road, always a step of the, always a step ahead of the uncanny bad luck that they had. Um, but when Alice's grandmother, um, who is an author of this um, pitch dark fairy tales, dies alone on an estate called the Hazelwood, Alice learns how bad her luck can really get. Her mother is stolen away by a figure who claims to come from this world that her grandmother created in the books. Um, so Alice only gets one message from her mother and that is stay away from the Hazelwood. Um, so Alice has to stay clear of her grandma's cultish fans but she has no um, choice but to ally with a fairy tale superfan Ellery Finch uh, who may have his own reasons for helping her. So I'm really looking forward to this one because it is one of my most anticipated releases and it is really gorgeous too. And Alcrit is actually starting to have, instead of book plates, it's starting to have books that are actually signed directly into the book. So here it is signed with gold by Miss Albert. So that's really awesome. Um, and as always, see they have, we, <laughs> we have some more things in here. I have some sticker that somehow correlates to the book. Um, we also have the letter from Melissa Albert, which I will read later. And then we have some stuff in here. So we have the Alcrate um, pamphlet, we're going to call it. Um, and this, the, in this one we can see the Alcrate cover and also the regular one. It's the colour of the cover that is changed. Um, we also have a uh, interview with the author. And we have some little puzzles we can do, and an interview with Lisa Rodil, and um, yeah, really good information here. And then we get a little sneak peek for next month, and in March, the theme will be Across the Galaxy, so it is sci fi, I love that. And I also know which book it's going to be, so really looking forward to that. Um, but you'll receive an exclusive candle from Wick and Fable, so that's nice. But yeah, that was everything for this month's box. Um, I feel like it was surprisingly much that I feel like I will really, really use a lot. Um, and I love the pouch, love that, and the sticker, of course. And. <laughs> I really do want to use this for something, but I don't have enough wall space for it because it's enormous. Um, but it's really gorgeous. So I'm really, really happy with this month's box. The book is gorgeous. It's one of my most anticipated releases. So really good box. Um, but yeah, if you want to get your own owl crate, I will link their um, website down below so you can go check it out. Um, and also, if you like this video, please don't forget to give me some thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the little button down below. And yeah, I hope we see each other next time. Bye!